Are you tired of finding dead things in the bottom of your giant bowl of cereal because there was so much milk that stuff drowned and died and by the time you got to the bottom it was a skeleton? <laughs> We're gonna build a solution to that problem. Thanks to Alex's, that's two Alex and Possessive from Patreon, we're gonna build a spoon that injects, that's the wrong word, uh, applies. And now to present the CAD model, I present Mr. Bones. Hey kids, it's me, Mr. Bones, and here is the CAD model. Oh, oh no. Uh, this is actually, I think, the sim one of the simpler things we've done. A single mount with the peristaltic pump and the cap of the water bottle being held. The battery we'll figure out later, that's Future Me's problem. The button that turns it on is also Future Me's problem, but I think this is the most complicated part and it's only one piece, so it's laser time. How did that get unplugged? <laughs> it's laser time! I need better organization. I feel like everyone on the other side of the camera is agreeing with me. <laughs> this one the window for me. break that one. This fits pretty well there. This, I'm a little worried I'm gonna break this. Good news is we have a laser cutter at our disposal. May have cut that a little bit small. You can hear the creaking and cracking. I mean, it's going. Hammer it? No, I'm not gonna hammer it. It's gonna explode if we hammer it. God, do we just glue that on right now? What if we, what if we mess it up? Too bad? Okay. So that's glued. We probably should have actually checked to make sure this was gonna fit. And we need to drill some holes into there, into this wood to hold that into place. And then this fits. Man, I really should have tested this stuff before gluing. <sighs> nice. It's really not that bad. The pump will fit right there. Okay, God. Wow, that, that came together really fast. I actually don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna drill holes. I had lined it up a little bit differently. Didn't do a perfect job measuring this, but whatever. That looks good, looks great, good job. Good job, everyone. I was, could use, hmm. I don't know if I have any Ooh, oh no, I just made a mess. Ah, hmm, I don't know where my tiny screws are. I need to like burn this whole house down and start over. It's just cracking, it's just ripping the plywood apart. Screwing into the edge of the plywood was not a good idea. Hey, that looks pretty good. How do we want to do, how do we want to do the silicon through the cap? What do you, what do you think, internet viewer? Do you have any advice? Leave it in the comments. Oh, what do you mean it doesn't work like that? Uh. I just kind of ram that in. How did you get that in there? Just twist it in there. Come on, little pose. Wow, this is not something I thought I'd be struggling with today. Once it's in, I don't know, is it gonna fall out? We have to glue it. Let's do a test. You want some cereal, but you need some milk on that bite. So, oh yeah, we went backwards. <laughs> it's done. Peristaltic pump, four AA batteries, silicon hose, water bottle, zip ties, super glue, a little crummy button. I have yet to actually test this. Let's take a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior peristaltic pump. I showed my friend Tom this video and he's like, you should say what a peristaltic pump is. So we're gonna do that. Peristaltic pump is a pump, but it doesn't touch anything. It just milks or squeegees the tube running through it with these little rollers. 
it can accurately move fluid through if you've got like a stepper motor or an encoded motor you can predict how much liquid is going to come out it's used in uh, medical industry and other stuff where you don't want the pump to actually touch the fluid and get cross contamination so the tube is the only thing that the juice the juices are going in there you go tom i hope i hope that was good <laughs> i don't think it was hello neighbors is it just you? Are you sleeping? Did we wake you up? We have an invention that we need you to test. Okay. Actually, you gotta hold it, hold it in this hand. Okay, I'm alrighty anyways. Here, I'll hold the ball. Hold it like, kinda like that, like, like you'd hold a pencil. Here, hold the ball again. So it's like, that's like a button. Press the button, so scoop some cereal. Okay. That works perfectly, actually. Mm. It tastes exactly like normal cereal. It tastes fantastic. But it's not soggy. It's, no, it's not soggy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna need that. Bye! <laughs> hey, Alan, you know what I hate about November? What? When your cereal gets soggy. Oh, that's the worst. Ah! Uh, how convenient! <laughs> Who wants to go first? Who are you? Shut up and eat the cereal. <laughs> also, I'm wearing a different shirt. We ruined the What's continuity. Going on here? Well, I've got a spoonful of cereal here, but I don't have a bowl of milk, so I can't eat this. Just press the button. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you think? This is what I was complaining about in November. So. Here, try it. Let's <laughs> clean it up. Do you have any oh, mouth diseases? Is oh! There Oh, that is, well, that is something. <laughs> what the? Oh my gosh. Didn't Simone yet already build this? <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. Feels like a bit of a rip off. I mean, it's not a bad <laughs> in. <laughs> it's squirting me. <laughs> I spit cereal out. <laughs> on my hair. This thing doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it does. Great. It's the user that's the problem. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty cool, but I feel like you need some cereal here, otherwise it overshoots. Here, I'm gonna put it in your mouth while I squirt it. <laughs> What's up? Um, <laughs> you, just, you just got up. <laughs> oh, gosh! <laughs> He's dying. You want more? No! You want some more? Not from you! I want a bit of cereal, Mmm, mmm. <laughs> I'm back into the correct shirt, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna eat soup out of the spoon. Wait, but first, thank you to Diana, uh, Physics Girl, and Sufficiently Advanced, Alan Pan, for testing the spoon out. And if you want stickers or cat too, I don't know, man, leave a comment. You think this is gonna work? Am I gonna make a huge mess? Yeah, both of those things. Mmm.